Covering St. John's County now, where tonight St. Augustine city leaders are taking up a set of rules for Airbnb and other short-term vacation rentals in the nation's oldest city. It all came about after many started noticing more of those properties popping up around town. News for Tech's reporter Ashley Harding joins us live. And Ashley, we understand these recommendations have been whittled down into three possible city ordinances. Yes, Bruce and Jen, good morning to you both. That's what we're hearing. And city leaders say some concerns had been raised, and these proposed rules address everything from safety to parking as well. And tonight, these issues are coming for a first reading before the St. Augustine City Commission. With the nation's oldest city being one of the top visitor destinations in Florida, Airbnbs are continuing to pop up. And city leaders have estimated St. Augustine as around 500 short-term rental properties. And tonight, they'll take up a set of proposed regulations. Here are some of the main ones. The short-term rentals would have to be registered with the city. The occupancy would be limited to two people per bedroom, with a maximum of 12 people per property. At least one parking space would have to be available per bedroom, plus safety equipment like a fire extinguisher would be a must. At a meeting earlier this year, city leaders stressed the idea is to accommodate these properties and their owners, but to also preserve the city's historic culture. News for Jack's heard from people on both sides of the issue. It's the non-owner occupied short-term rentals that I think are a real issue because every time um, a neighbor moves out and one of those things takes over, uh, it's like punching a hole in the fabric of the neighborhood. Our guests at Airbnb, they review us, and so it's really imperative that I keep it up so that I can continue to make the money that I want to. And a number of other regulations are included in this, including, for instance, a property owner would be responsible for making sure that trash is taken out to the curb. The city would also be responsible for setting up a system which would allow for people to report any possible complaints. From there, the property owner would have about 30 minutes to respond. That meeting again in St. Augustine is at 5 o'clock this evening. Reporting live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, the local, st local station.